The first question I got was how do you create a personal brand that's unique and attracts attention? VidCon. This was my very first year at VidCon. Um, and let's just say I was looking through the footage of this video you're about to see and it doesn't make quite sense. To summarize everything, this just goes to show you how chaotic, crazy, lit VidCon was because it was really a great time, but it wasn't what I really expected. Some of you guys know me. If you don't, what's up? I just moved out to LA recently. I don't know why I moved out. I had an interview, so most of this video is going to be kind of circulating around that content. So make sure you guys stay to the very end if you want to learn how to grow your brand, a little bit more about VidCon, my honest thoughts. You're about to be in for a roller coaster. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, so my name is Jay Darmawanza. I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur trying to make her way in LA. I feel like that's my new YouTube intro. I low key think I'm just trying to not financially deprecate. Wait, what does deprecate mean? Depreciate. 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 And try not to financially depreciate. Depreciate. I thought it was deprecate. Anyway, the first day of VidCon, I'll link it below, was crazy, it was fun. Uh, day two was great, I met some awesome tubers. And then day three hit, which is where we're at. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today's day three of VidCon. So, this is my first year. I've been doing YouTube for like seven years off and on and I'm dreaming of this place. So I didn't know what to really expect. I saw every single YouTuber and maybe you've been there too, but like you've seen this like idea of VidCon and you've never really gone out there, but it always looks like funs and giggles. You know, it always looks like a great time. No, honestly, most of this convention, I was just walking around. Didn't know what to do. So I started my day off with avocado toast. I met my friend Brennan. Guys, I'm here with Brennan. So I'm here with Brennan to get avocado toast in Beverly Hills. So I got my poop juice. Uh, I'll tell you guys more about that. This beauty, it's really bougie. What the fuck? Is that hair? No, it's Brennan's bro. Wow. Brennan's a super cool dude. I hung out with him literally all weekend. He stayed on my freaking couch. So yeah, me and Brennan had avocado toast. What? After we have avocado toast, which was $17, <laughs> I'm gonna self-depreciate more. So I live in LA, Orange County is like a pretty far drive. So when we made it to VidCon, I was actually kind of tired, but again, we were just wandering. So we went to our first panel on Dandy, but then I had to run to my first interview. Hi guys, so we're at VidCon day three, and now we're going to my first event, which is like a meeting interview with um, some people at VidCon, but I'm kind of late, like usual. The interview was a girl named Libby, shout out to Libby. She was working on a project for college students and universities, so I answered her a few questions. The first question I got was, how do you create a personal brand that's unique and attracts attention? So how do you create a personal brand that's unique and attracts attention? Uh, how to create a personal brand that's unique. I think a lot of people need to realize that what makes them unique isn't what the topic is, it's about how you are. And that's very cliche, but there's a lot of um, emphasis on your story and, and narrative. So if you don't have a story, if you don't have an epic like life battle, that's okay. But what I'm talking about is a personal brand that's attractive is all about before and after. So what I would do is try to find your audience. What, what do they lack? Tell them where they want to be. So for example, if you're trying to inspire people, make sure you say, this is why I'm incredible, maybe this is why you should listen to me, but then tell them the backstory and make sure you're relatable. Because the one thing is if you don't build that epiphany bridge, no one will listen to you. You know, that's why people can't relate to like, you know, Kim Kardashian, but yeah. people can relate to like Emma Chamberlain. There's a reason why there's, our market is gravitating towards like relatable content. It's just because we can we can vibe with it and it's more it resonates for who we are. And like number one mistake that you see when people are trying to gain attention but they can't do it right. And it's those clickbait, they use those keywords, but they're still not getting that attraction up there. What's I think you could be doing something right and doing everything right. Uh -huh. But if you don't have the right timing, it's not gonna work. So I feel like you could be doing something perfectly and every day you go at it. But if it's not the right timing, you're knocking on the wrong door. So being at the right time at the right place is everything. Like for example, I did YouTube for like seven years. It's only till a year ago where it actually started taking off. So for me, it's just like, a lot of people is like, I think my biggest phrase ever is like, Jade, I've tried everything. So for that, I just say patience and literally being able to tweak with the market. So if you're going into your videos, then you're gonna make X amount of content, like a 12 point series. Be okay with making it maybe shorter and then moving on. I think people don't want to adapt because it's scary to change. Yeah. But you have to realize it, timing is everything. So be at the right time, right present. Just like literally keep doing what you're doing, but just have the patience for it. For that was good, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah, Let me know, do you have any questions for yourself maybe? Like what led you to like do all this? What led me to build this? For me, I have a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Like money doesn't mean anything to me. Like literally you could tell me I'm gonna make a million dollars, but I. That, if that was it, like I'd be so disappointed in myself. So I don't think money motivates me. Um, I thought it was like 
the, 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 the status, right? I'm gonna dress really well. But then I realized I don't, I don't feel good when I buy something. Do you ever like buy something nice for yourself? Or like, wait, I could have just saved it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I realized it's not like looking good. I think what it is really is I want to build a platform that gives me the credibility to help people. So like, basically, I just want to make connections with people. That's it. Like, I'm a people person, yeah. and if I can, because like the thing is, if you don't have anything to talk about, um, that means you're not abundant in something. So I just want to get really good at one thing. Uh, for me, it's marketing. Help so many people with it, and that's how I build connections. Okay, those are wonderful questions, and I hope you guys got some value. We're gonna continue on with the day. Uh, VidCon was honestly insane. Like this is when it had a turning point. After the video, it was all swell and dandy and chill. After this moment. <laughs> My life changed. I met some of you guys, so I had a meetup. During this meetup, I just was assuming one person was gonna show up. I don't know why I have that weird fear that no one of you guys like my content. Five of you guys came, then ten, then you, a whole crowd of them, and I was just so surreal. Guys, I met some Dharma Nation people. This is Nathan. Say what's up. What's up? Ooh, ooh. Hey, oh my god! Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Ruby. Ruby. Oh my god, Ruby. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm literally looking at you right now in this camera and I want to say thank you for your love and support I don't really think about you guys as like a crowd I just think of you at this like one-on-one -on -one relationship Like I love just like sitting down and talking to you guys and helping you grow your Instagram And that's just what I love to do. So thank you for coming out to the meetup. It was awesome So are you doing half videos and half skits half music? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, about that right now yeah. And what do you want to do more of? That's super cool. I want to do more of music videos Okay, so what's wrong with the skits? The skits? <laughs> You don't want to do them or people like them more? Yeah. People so, like them less than the music videos. Yeah. 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 Just do all music videos. We're talking about doing that. But the thing um, is there are people that who actually like the skits. It was so. Oh, so I just okay, so have, do you have a second account? I don't know why. No, I don't. You can differentiate. I would, uh, how many followers do you have on this one? Yeah. Uh, 3,000. Okay. At 10,000, yeah, it would be a micro Like segment them. That's what I would do. Okay. For example, like you want to fragment your audience, so then you can have more sponsorships, you know? Like it's a different audience. So when you hit 10,000, start a next channel. And then now you have like a different channel. Oh, yeah. a lot. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for saying hi. So, uh, after I met you guys, it was very great. Like, I was on this adrenaline high, and then there was a party. I don't like party. I don't, well, maybe because I, I was never invited to parties, okay? But in high school, never really did that. There was basically a VidCon after party for the top creators, people's, <laughs> just the important people. You know, I didn't get an invite. Okay, so I, I tried to sneak in and it didn't really work. We went through security and they just stopped us because I didn't have my wristband. I just turned around, me and Brennan basically. We had dinner. At this point it was like 10 p.m. And you know what, I'm not even upset. Um, what I really realized guys is after being this whole VidCon weekend, you're just gonna feel sometimes really small because everyone wants to just know how many followers you have. Your worth is basically on your result. And I kid you not, at that moment when I got kicked out of the party, um, and many moments before, like just wandering and not feeling in place, you have to realize you cannot put your identity in your results. Who you are is not what you do. And I had to really make that quick switch because it was hard. Honestly, people had millions and millions of followers and not that I really care and not that I like measure that, but it's important to know your self-worth internally before you think about external things. Um, VidCon taught me a lot. It taught me just how to network, how to meet really cool people, but also taught me how to love myself even if I don't have a biggest following as, you know, all those bitches. It was really cool to meet people with like larger followings, not because of the number, but because of, you know, the ways they got there. I love hearing the stories. I met some cool people. Shout out to Haley, Ryan, and Sydney. Basically the only people I hung out with this weekend. You know what? There's actually something we were working on really, really last minute, which is a song. And you guys will hear that. And this literally like the people I met at VidCon are friendships that I consider so, so surreal and genuine to me. And it's not about the numbers. Um, it was hard for me because I feel like a small fish in a big pond. Or ever at a convention, event, a place where you don't feel like you belong, realize that it's all your mindset. Switch it and really become internally confident rather than external. People won't believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. Hope that gave you some insight on how it was. Super fun, super freaking lit. Oh God. Like this video and subscribe if you like it. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> Like this video and subscribe, bitch. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be the next comment winner, make sure you comment below your thoughts on VidCon. Were you there? Did you hug me? Or did you like it? Comment below, I wanna know your thoughts. What you thought about today's video. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.